Hello learners, I am Akash. I completed my B.Tech from NIT Raut Kela in the year 2020. Currently, I am a mathematics teacher. <clears throat> now, let us see how to solve this given question. By the way, 2024 is coming to an end. It's December, right? Uh, it's already going to be far, close to five years that I graduated. I am becoming old day by day. Okay, let's come to this question. Suppose that urn B1 contains two white and three black balls. Listen to me carefully. And another urn means a bag, okay? And another urn B2 contains three white and four black balls. So we have a bag. First bag has two white and three black. Second bag has three white and four black balls. Fine. Next, one urn, is, urn, in, one urn means one bag is selected at random and a ball is drawn from it. Okay, fine. We Two bags are there. Out of that, you take any one bag. And you are trying to select a ball. Fine. If a ball, if the ball drawn is found black, then find the probability that it was chosen, the urn chosen was B1. Okay. Now here you have to understand a concept. What is that means? Conditional probability P of A given B. P of A by B. I'm sure you are conditional probability. I'm sure you must have seen it, but many of you may not know exactly what it means. What does it mean? P of A by B. I'm calling it as A by B, A given B. It means that happening of A after happening of B. Note it down. You can note this down. Happening of A, happening of A after happening of b okay happening of b i mean no the handwriting is not good but what it means is happening of a after happening of b now what does it mean what does it mean happening of a after happening of b that means what first b has happened first b has happened and a is happening after b has happened first event b has occurred now next, after event B has occurred, event A is occurring. Understand? Now see the last line once again. If the ball drawn is found black. Okay, that means what? This means that they took a ball and they found it, found it was black. Okay, that means this has happened. Ball is found black. Now they are asking us to find out that the... Now they are asking us to find out that the ball chosen was from B1. Okay, from bag 1. That means, uh, okay, I, what they mean is exactly, they're asking us to find out, they're asking us to find out, P of, the ball drawn is found black. This is already given, okay, this is given. B has happened, like we, found, we got a black ball and they're asking us to find out that it was from bag one. That means that, I, that event I'm taking it as E1. I'll explain step by step in the next slide, but this is what we have to find out, P of e1 by b give e1 given b that means what happening of e1 after happening of b i know you may not have understood whatever i spoke till now let's go to the next slide and go step by step this might give you a bit better clarity see now what i'm taking is this is an this is actually an example sum from textbook this question is an example sum from textbook so i'm taking i'm taking the same ter same terminologies which have been used in the textbook okay now, let E1, comma E2 denote the events of selecting bags, urns B1 and B2. Fine. Urn, mean a, urn means a bag, I told you. Bags B1 and B2. Now listen, there are how many bags? Two bags. I can either select bag 1 or bag 2, urn 1 or urn 2, whatever. Okay. So, out of two, I am selecting one. So, probability of event E1 is nothing but 1 by 2 and probability of E2 is 1 by 2. E1 is what? Selecting bag 1. One bag out of two bags, it is 1 by 2. And this is also same, 1 out of 2. Fine, I hope this statement is clear. Next. Let B denote the event that the ball chosen from the urn is black. Here, why I, why I chose it to be black means, if the, if the ball drawn is found black, that means what? I need an event. I need an event in which the ball drawn is black. So, that event, I am defining it as B. Okay. Let capital B denote the event that the ball drawn is black from a selected black from a selected urn or a selected bag bag okay selected urn 
in exam write earn only don't write it as bag because you need to use the terminology that is given in the question next now we have to find out p of e1 by b this is already explained this is what you have to find out p of e1 given b that means what understand this statement carefully this is what this is what it means once again i'm uh, let's repeat p of happening of a after happening of b that means first b has happened now a is selected now what they are telling the ball drawn is found black that means what we found a we got a black ball that already occurred now if we got a black ball if we got a black ball they are asking us to find out the probability that it was from bag one it was from earn one okay that means what what did i take that as e1 e1 be the event of selecting earn one so p of e1 given b this is what i have to find out or p of e1 by b sometimes we just call it like that doesn't exactly mean that okay now what we have to do we will be using bayes theorem to find out this uh, to find out this fine now in earn b1 there are two white and three black balls in the question i showed you right bag one contains like earn one contains two white and three black so now onwards i know use the word earn only earn one contains two white and three black so p of b given e1 is nothing but 3 by 5 now what does it mean understand carefully understand this carefully understand this carefully see there are two bags there are two earns earn one earn two okay i selected earn one what is a problem I, I selected earn one like i got my first bag okay what does it mean e1 has occurred e1 has occurred even event e1 has occurred after that only see there are two bags once i'll select a bag then only i can go to the ball right so my first condition is that i have to select i have to select a bag that event is e1 and i got let's say i got let's say i got e1 okay i got first bag that is event even right so event even has occurred so event even has occurred now once event even has occurred means now b bag one is there with me in bag one there are three two white and three black balls what is the probability of getting a black ball there are two white and three black balls so three by total number of balls which is three by five okay uh, i you might have you might be feeling that this is too boring but i'm going pretty deep if you understand this these things nicely now this you will get a good grip over Bayes theorem if you can follow what I am saying. Now next in earn B2, in earn B2, there are three white and four black again from the text like the data. So P of B given E2 is four by seven. There are four black balls, four by total number of uh, balls, which is four by seven. Now what does this mean? P of B given E2 or P of now first what E2 has occurred. Now I got this time I got E2. This time I got second bag. First time I took first bag. Now let's say I got second bag. Now second bag I got. That means event E2 has occurred. Now after event E2 has occurred, what is my next event which I am going to perform? Taking a black ball. Now that is my next event. So I am performing uh, B after E2. So B by E2 is nothing but 4 by 7. Hope it made sense whatever I told you till now. Now by Bayes theorem, this is what we have to find out, right? P of E1 by B, E1 given B. Right? This is nothing but it's going to be p of e1 into p of b by e1 by p of e1 into p of b by e1 plus p of e2 into p of b2, b by e2 uh, why did this come you can refer to the base theorem i already made a video if you will go to max to a baby bullet max to a playlist i think you should be able to find it fine now so the all that all the things we know right see p of e1 is here p of e1 equal to p of e2 equal to 1 by 2 P of B by E1 is there, 3 by 5. P of B by E2 is 4 by 7. Now, we can just substitute. See, only thing is you have to understand what is what. Otherwise, if you will just mug up and go, na, in exam, you will forget. The first thing that will happen, what will happen in exam is, you will forget whether I have to find out P of, P of E1 by B or P of B by E1 or P of B by B or P of E. What is going to happen? Oh my God, what is this? You, you might feel, okay, something like that. Uh, what exactly is happening in the world? like for for that you have to understand what exactly it means so be patient watch the videos watch this video two three times and try to post more videos if possible so go through the videos understand what is happening this if you can understand this word happening of a after happening of b which i told you at the beginning this one happening of a after happening of b that means what once b has happened now a is happening that is conditional probability that is conditional probability I hope uh, now just substitute from here on it's very simple mathematics very simple calculation 
ఈ వన్ బై టూ ఇంటూ దిస్ ఇస్ త్రీ బై ఫైవ్ వన్ బై టూ ఇంటూ త్రీ బై ఫైవ్ ప్లస్ వన్ బై టూ ఇంటూ ఫోర్ బై సెవెన్ ఓకే నో ఇన్ ద డినామినేటర్ ఫ్యూల్ టేక్ వన్ బై టూ కామన్ ఇన్ ద డినామినేటర్ ఫ్యూల్ టేక్ వన్ బై టూ కామన్ ఓకే ఇఫ్ యుల్ డూ సో ఫైన్ దెన్ ఫ్యూల్ టేక్ వన్ బై టూ కామన్ ఐ జస్ట్ షో ఇట్ యూ ఆల్ దో ఇట్స్ ప్రెటీ క్లియర్ ఇఫ్ యుల్ టేక్ వన్ బై టూ కామన్ యూ విల్ గెట్ త్రీ బై ఫైవ్ ప్లస్ ఫోర్ బై సెవెన్ దిస్ దిస్ ఇస్ వాట్ డినామినేటర్ విల్ బికమ్ వన్ బై టూ వన్ బై టూ క్యాన్సల్ అయ్యి త్రీ బై ఫైవ్ బై త్రీ బై ఫైవ్ ప్లస్ ఫోర్ బై సెవెన్ టేక్ ఎల్సిఎం ఇన్ ద డినామినేటర్ సో సెవెన్ త్రీ జా ట్వంటీ వన్ ప్లస్ ఫోర్ ఫైవ్ జా ట్వంటీ సో ట్వంటీ ప్లస్ ట్వంటీ వన్ ప్లస్ ట్వంటీ బై థర్టీ ఫైవ్ త్రీ బై ఫైవ్ బై ట్వంటీ వన్ ప్లస్ ట్వంటీ బై థర్టీ ఫైవ్ నెక్స్ట్ దిస్ విల్ బి ఫార్టీ వన్ బై థర్టీ ఫైవ్ సో త్రీ బై ఫైవ్ బై ఫార్టీ వన్ బై థర్టీ ఫైవ్ రిమెంబర్ ఏ బై బి హోల్ డివైడెడ్ బై సి బై డి ఇస్ నథింగ్ బట్ ఏ బై బి ఇంటూ డి బై సి వెన్ ఇట్ విల్ కమ్ టు ద టాప్ ఇట్ విల్ బికమ్ ఉల్టా సో త్రీ బై ఫైవ్ ఇంటూ థర్టీ ఫైవ్ బై ఫార్టీ వన్ సో ఫైవ్ వన్ జా ఫైవ్ సెవెన్ జార్ సో త్రీ ఇంటూ సెవెన్ ఇస్ ట్వంటీ వన్ బై ఫార్టీ వన్ దాట్స్ ఇట్ దిస్ ఇస్ వాట్ వీ హ్యాడ్ టు ఫైండ్ ఐ హోప్ ఐ డింట్ ఎగ్జాక్ట్లీ బోర్ యూ బై రిపీటింగ్ థింగ్స్ ఓవర్ అండ్ ఓవర్ అగైన్ ఇఫ్ యూ కుడ్ అండర్స్టాండ్ ద బేస్ థీరమ్ బై దిస్ వెల్ అండ్ గుడ్ ఇఫ్ యూ హ్యావ్ ఎనీ డౌట్స్ జస్ట్ కమెంట్ ఇట్ Uh, but i would before before asking your doubt i would suggest watch the video once or twice at least twice or thrice to understand it's a little deep concept to understand deeper things you need to pay attention you need to listen again and again okay hope uh, i didn't bore you it's been a while since i made videos okay my this writing pad got a lot of dust over it <laughs> i had to remove that dust it's been a while since i made some videos i was busy Uh, in college nowadays i'm like teaching some higher level things like till now i used to teach ip you know but nowadays i'm teaching uh, some questions related to mains je mains as well so i need to prepare before i go to class fine because of that and some other things i couldn't get enough time let's see if i can make more videos anyways thank you